Okay, you guys, I have been obsessed with making a kimchi rice, so I'm going to show you how I make it. I know this is not traditional in any way, like, not traditional. I just want to let that be known because I make things my way and how I like them to taste. So it's wet because I just washed this. This is only if you want to, but I'm going to use some olive oil. So I add onion in here. Obviously, the main ingredient, rice. Before you add anything else, you're gonna to wanna to just cook it a little bit. Stir it, make sure it doesn't get burnt, because that is not the goal. I add some pepper, some salt, some garlic powder. Even though I added onion, I'm still gonna add some onion powder. I will be adding some low sodium soy sauce. Obviously, some sriracha. Obviously, add how much you want, because some people don't like that spicy, and other people do. Now, this is a part that you guys are probably gonna question, but I do add some ketchup. I feel like it really, really makes it good. Not too much. Stir it up. Okay, so after I add anything else, what I do is kind of flatten it because I want to make it crispy. That is my goal. I have it on medium. Don't put it too high because it will burn. So just let it sit like that for three minutes. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. And you're gonna flip it. See how it turned like that golden brown? That is exactly what I aim for. And you're just gonna do this process, mm, I don't know, I do it about like five times, four times, it depends on how fast, but that is what makes it crispy and delicious. So I'm gonna do it again. So this is the kimchi I use. I got it from Walmart. I only add about four pieces of it. These ones have pretty big pieces, so. And then I add some of the flavoring, obviously, because that is what makes it really good. I don't add that until I have crispy the rice because you don't want to like make your cabbage crispy. You don't want to make the kimchi crispy. No, no, no. Later on, we're also going to add some sesame seeds. So I added the kimchi. Now I'm just going to put some green onion, scallion, whatever you want to call it. And sesame seeds. I will be turning it again. Remember, you do not want to burn it. It is easy to do. <laughs> and then just go through the process again. Sorry, we're gonna add the broth. Okay, so this is how much the broth did. A pretty decent amount, but not enough, so I'm gonna add water. Okay, now the water's in there. And I'm gonna start adding the seasonings. So we're gonna add some garlic powder. Yes. <laughs> um, where it be at? Oh, oh, right there. It is. I didn't know we had. Oh yeah, this is for the chicken. Okay. Um, Ooh. garlic powder. I don't measure anything. Parsley. It really is just up to the person. Pepper. You guys know me. I usually add the seasoning after I add the potatoes, but I don't know. As this is boiling, I want the juices to flow. You know what I'm saying? Yes, a lot of pepper. Basil. And Italian, which I add, I wouldn't say a lot, but a decent amount because this adds a lot of flavor. We're going to do some seasonal salt. We're going to add a little bit of ketchup. It's funny, you guys think I love ketchup, but I don't. <laughs> Like, I only add it in my soups, and I add the tiniest bit. It just adds flavor. Like, if I was to get a cheeseburger, I would ask for no ketchup. <laughs> I add some of the aminos, and I'm gonna do the sriracha, which I do add a lot of. I like spice. And then if I need more later, I just add more. I'm gonna add some minced garlic now. About that much. That is how it is looking so far. It just has to boil just a tiny bit and I'll start adding stuff. I got all the vegetables ready that I will be adding. This over here, this over here. 
this stuff, obviously, I'm gonna add first because this is what is gonna take the longest to cook. Okay. Before it gets too hot, because this will splash up a little bit, um, you don't wanna burn yourself. You can add. <laughs> See, splash up a little bit. I know some of you will say in the comments there's an easier way to do this, and if there really is, let me know. So, I would just use a knife because it'll be labeled. Good idea. <laughs> True. It already looks good and hasn't even cooked yet. And I know my soups, once it starts cooking and stuff, like the broth gets evaporated by all the potatoes and just the deliciousness Absorbed. Um, absorbs. <laughs> Thank you, Destiny. <laughs> so I know that does happen, but it's still really good. Lentil time. We're gonna add the lentils next. I'm just gonna actually add the rest of these. If there are vegetarians out there, this is not vegetarian. <laughs> if there's vegans out there, this is not vegan. It's very close. The only thing that is preventing this from being vegetarian or vegan is the broth. So you can always use vegetable broth. I use chicken because that's just, I don't know. It's just what I prefer, I guess. So yeah, if you're a vegan or vegetarian and you want to try this, just get vegetable broth instead. Yay! Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add is the frozen right here. And then after I add this, I'm going to wait a little bit, add the corn add this this and that because this will become kind of soggy so you want to add that last i drained the liquid that was in the artichoke cards and i only added half of them i might add the whole thing but it's kind of small but i'm kind of just experimenting for now <laughs> so i don't want to ruin the soup i'm going to add these um i don't want to add the whole thing so i added a little bit more than half update i did add the rest of the artichoke cards i just realized so much soup and there just wasn't enough artichoke <laughs> everything has been added even the green beans <laughs> it's colorful smells delicious destiny even said it smelled good um but she's about to head off to work so i wish she was here to enjoy this with me um obviously when it starts boiling really hard you need to turn it down so i put it a little bit above medium and it's just gonna need to simmer for quite a bit of time i'd say almost 40 minutes just let all the flavors fall in love with each other <laughs> that's when it tastes the best really actually as leftovers is when it tastes the best but yeah so look how beautiful oh my gosh i'm so excited I feel like this is the best way for me to eat vegetables, like I said before. Um, I don't know, it just looks so good. I really want you guys to try this. Obviously, I haven't tried it yet, but I'll definitely let you know what I think when it's done. Okay, so it has been cooking for quite some time now, and it is finished, so I'm gonna dish myself some. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. If you guys hear a noise in the background, I'm watching Nicavado Avocado, I can't say his name, but I'm watching that him on YouTube right now. There we go, all done. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I did try a bite and it's really good, amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This looks so good, oh my gosh, I'm excited. Um, yeah, so try it if you like. There is some of the um, hearts, I'm so excited for that. But yeah, so, cooking with Amberlynn. What do you guys think about it? I enjoy it, I think it's really fun. I will see you guys in my next video, Mwah. bye. So I'm gonna be making some food, obviously. I'm gonna have some green beans, some edamame, which this is called mukamami, but same thing. Onion, and some of these chicken sausages, and sweet Italian style, so. First things first, I need to cut onion. this onion for a little bit longer than I should have, so that's the reason why I'm using it today, uh, before it goes bad. So I'm just going to cut it some big slices. Between two. What's mama's baby doing? Okay, so got that already done. Get myself a pot. Spray it with some non-stick. <laughs> Put this on the oven. Eat. I'll add seasonings. Hi, hi. I'll add seasonings once I um, have these cut. So I'm gonna make all four right now, but I'm only gonna have two. Okay. These are 
is so good. Cut up. So what I usually do is just split them all in half. Like this. Perfect timing. Gotta go stir my onions real quick. I can get some chicken out she's gonna make tonight for herself. These will all break apart, obviously, once they start cooking a little bit more. Then I just cut them. Whoops. Like this. Seasoning because the uh, sausage has a lot. So I'm just gonna add some minced garlic. Everyone loves garlic, <laughs> usually. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water, it'll cook down and evaporate. In my opinion, it's better than using oil. So, so here it is completed. Um, the onions and sausages on the bottom, then we have a layer of green beans and then edamame and I have some sriracha. 